Hey everyone! Hello! Brandon, where are we at and what are we doing in this video? Well, I'm glad you asked. No, we're at Magic Kingdom um, and we are back again at Liberty Tree Tavern. We're standing outside of it right now, the same spot we do every year because this is a yearly tradition at this point. We do our Thanksgiving meal and vlog it um, here at Liberty Tree Tavern. Yes, we of course do some holiday stuff with our family, but for oh, us yeah, yeah. as a couple, we like to do this as a tradition. So your gal Sarah doesn't have to cook a bunch of stuff. So Liberty Tree Tavern has lots of Thanksgiving style food, gluten-free stuffing, mashed potatoes, and all the fixings. And it's just really delicious. Yeah, absolutely. So we cannot wait to get inside. It's an all you care to enjoy style meal right yep. yep um so we're gonna get inside quick little briefing here a little intro um but really quick i want to give a we want to give a shout out to richard oh yeah he's a viewer of ours he's a subscriber yes we recently met richard when we were at steakhouse 71 yep. for lunch right after our disney fantasy cruise mm -hmm. and we weren't vlogging but he came over and said hello and it was really yep. nice to meet him yep so huge shout out to richard if you're watching richard Hello again, yeah. <laughs> but um, no, it was awesome to talk to him for a few minutes and everything at Steakhouse 71. It was. But anyway, right now, outside Liberty Tree Tavern, and we're heading on in, and you'll see us inside, I guess. Yeah, so All let's right, go. Let's go. Just sat down a little bit ago. Hilariously strange Terrible seat. spot. Um, uh, if you follow this vlog for any length of time, we've had the worst seat in here. But this time, yeah, right in the lobby, basically. Yeah. But we have lots of space. We do. We really do. Nice. We do. Yeah, we're not so going to start just complaining. We're sorry. We are excited for our dinner. We already have our salad. We have. Um, I have gluten-free, allergy-friendly rolls, which can be made dairy-free with kind of a garlic butter, and then you can use Earth Balance on that. And then we have kind of a house salad which does have cheese on it, but that is literally the only modification you need to make it dairy-free. Um, and then we're getting hundreds of tons of food. Yep. And we are very excited, and the chef was super helpful. Yep. I feel terrible. We both can't remember his name, so we're gonna find we're out. We're gonna find out and tell I, you later. It may have been Jason, actually. I think it was Jason. From Germany, yeah, Frankfurt, Germany. So, yeah, because we started talking about our, our group. Yep. But salad, it's really refreshing. I love that Chris Green's got some cheddar in it, so if you can have dairy, that's nice, refreshing, light vinaigrette. Some uh, candied, not candied, uh, yeah, like cranberries, like raisins. So like sweetened cranberries, dried cranberries, super tasty. I'm super hungry, so words are failing me now. I will try. I love the garlic butter on it. You do? Mm -hmm. Let's get a look at it. It's just a nice twist, and I love that they have that as an option. So, All right. very good. We'll see what we're going to think of his salad. All right. Um, I think Sarah introduced uh, the salad as much as can be introduced, so I'm just going to bite into it. Very happy to be here. Not the best seat again, and that seems to be a running joke. Again, if, if this is your first video you've ever seen of ours, please don't think of us as complainers. It's a it's a running joke on this channel here strictly at Liberty Tree Tavern with the seating. But... um. And Brandon also has, you'll see, regular rolls here. These are nut free, but of course do contain gluten. Brandon's going in for seconds on salad, so it must be good. Very good. Nice. I'm not a good, big, huge salad person, but very good. We'll probably eat all of this. Do you want to try your roll? Okay. All right, let's bite into one of these rolls. Good flavor. There's a um, it's garlic butter on top. Garlic butter, absolutely delicious. Rolls are really, really good above the average roll. So 
Yeah, we're off to a really good start. Oh, my Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, my Patriot Space, Pilgrim Space, whatever. Let's try to see what we can see here, everyone. Oh, my. Oh, my Mickey. Oh, my Mickey. Oh, my Mickey. So I have the gluten-free version of sort of their Pilgrim's platter, which is mashed potatoes and gravy. The mashed potatoes can be made dairy-free. Some vegetables, turkey, pork, pot roast, which is different looking than what we've had It does past. look different this year. Stuffy. I'm trying to get to and it. And also we got an impossible meatloaf. Yeah, I'm going to move over here. Yeah. And mac and cheese. So, uh, of course, mac and cheese does contain dairy. Uh, the impossible meatloaf is a plant-based option, so it's gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. So, I don't even know where to start. Maybe yeah, the, uh, this video is going all over the place, it everyone. Is. We're sorry. All right, I'm going to try the meatloaf. Meatloaf. Oh, the new meatloaf. And this is, the chef himself said this was his recipe or something It's nice. Like that. It's not got tangy ketchup on it. That's soup. Ooh. A little bit on the back end. Good. Very nice. The pot roast tends to be one of our faves. Pot roast is always delicious. Stuffing is delicious. I love that there is a gluten free, dairy free option for that. Let's try the turkey. That's turkey. Turkey's good. Not my favorite, but tasty. And that for is any year, is it right? It's just good. I love the cranberry sauce. And the pork is nice too. The gravy on it is actually different. It used to be almost more of a cream based gravy. It's got a lot of rosemary in it, some mushrooms, very tasty. And of course, oh. Brandon's favorite mac and cheese. And I have the gluten free version. You can see Brandon has the regular gluten milk version. That's not the star of the show. Okay. It's fine. What you really want is sort of this pilgrim speed. Hot roast is definitely my favorite, but it is so good. Awesome. I can't wait to dig it. Right, and like Sarah, I'm going to start with their new, and he said it's only been on the menu like three weeks. The um, It's an impossible meatloaf. It's an impossible meatloaf. meatloaf. Um, let's try it. And they had it on the menu before, but they tweaked it. He said this is actually his menu item. It's, I like it. So far, so good. Let me... Oh. It, 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 it kicks. It comes back. One more bite. It's a solid it meatloaf. It tastes like meatloaf to me. Yeah. Um, this impossible meat is getting better and better. So, huge win. Highly recommended. Um, what should I do now, Sarah? Whatever you want. The potatoes, it's your favorite, or the pot roast. Potatoes. Hashtag potatoes for life. Everyone. The holy potato. This isn't the best potatoes of all time, but it's what we need here for our Thanksgiving feast. It's delicious. And next, let's try the pot roast. Just a quick little bite. Very good. Same as it is every year. No, it looks different though, doesn't it? It is different. It is, okay. I think the last time I had like carrots and stuff in it. Yeah, I think it was maybe better last time, but... And what am I biting into now, Pork. sir? Pork. It was good. For the price point here, you can't go wrong with all this. It's really good. And I wouldn't want to share it with anyone else, but the love of my life, Sarah, and our Thanksgiving. It's a tradition. Let's try the uh, mac and cheese. Now, this isn't dairy free, of course. Oh, good. Very good. Normal mac and cheese. Nothing to write home about, but I'll eat the whole thing. Um, yeah, really good. I my favorite might be the uh, impossible meat. In our debrief, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I think in the end. But I think the impossible meat might be my favorite meat on here. Let's keep eating. And like that, Sarah looks really tired and full. Um, Just like a proper Thanksgiving meal, yeah. I now want to take a nap. What did uh, what did they say? Does everyone remember the Disney Plus Star Wars show Andor? What did he say? Fat and satisfied. I, I feel very fat and satisfied right now. <laughs> so dessert came. I got a gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based dessert. Actually, we both did. We have different desserts, but yep. they're both gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. So I got the Johnny's apple seed cake, which has like a vegan whipped cream and like an apple cake. And I had, we had it last year. It was pretty good. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good. It's like a vegan caramel with it. 
the cake itself is dense, but it has good flavor. It has a lot of fall flavors, kind of like cinnamony vibes to it. And I like the vegan whipped cream on top. So as full as I am, I'm going to do my best to wrap up the meal with a nice yeah. seasonal dessert. Awesome. And like that, dessert for me too. Uh, but I don't think we said it when we came in. We are seated in the Paul Revere room. Uh, really quick, Liberty Tree Tavern is divided up into what, three, four? There's like six rooms. Okay, everyone, I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is this, we are in the Paul Revere room and, um, or AKA for this seat, the lobby. But um, anyway, I'm kidding. I got the, uh, what, the sorbet. Also another allergy friendly out. Yeah, very allergy friendly, very good. Um, love it. Nice way to wrap up. We are so full. Get us out in an ambulance, everyone, we because need... we are full. No, now we need an afternoon nap after yeah. our food. After our food. We need a nap. Yep. So, I guess words are hard right now. So, <laughs> oh, no. we finished our dinner at Liberty Tree Tavern. <laughs> Brandon, did it live up to our other years of traditions? Yeah, really good overall. I do think the, uh, the pot roast tasted a little differently, correct? Yeah, I think the pot roast was different this year in terms of what was in it. You Usually it, there's yeah. like vegetables in there, and this was kind of just a meat bonanza. Yeah, it was... It was probably my least favorite part of the meal because it was very tough at times. The pot roast, just the pot roast we're yeah. talking about. But it still, delicious. Everything there was delicious. And this is still going to be a high recommend, of course. Yeah, I think if you love kind of Thanksgiving-style food, this is great, of course, one, for the seasonal time of year. Um, whether you're coming during Thanksgiving or the winter holidays, this is going to be a good option for kind of that holiday vibe. Um, but also just any time of year, if you want kind of that Thanksgiving-style dinner, Gluten-free, dairy-free stuffing, gluten-free gravy, gluten-free, dairy-free mashed potatoes, um, gluten-free mac and cheese, just all the stuff. And plentiful, tasty, it's very hard bountiful. to get a lot, bountiful. It is hard to get a lot of that out, so it's really nice when you do get the special occasion to have that. Yeah, so, very much Very so. solid. Yeah, we always, we just love coming here. So in saying that though, should we talk about a minor hiccup? Not an issue. A hiccup? Yeah, I think our experience today at Liberty Tree Tavern is always a reminder to advocate for yourself, speak up if you have questions, and definitely make sure, again, to be your own advocate. So yep. um, we talked to our server about our allergies, and she said she would go talk to the chef. The chef didn't come out. She started bringing out food, and because of Brandon's allergies especially, it was really important for us to talk to a chef yep. um, because of chicken, turkey, and even some of the cabbage family vegetables. We just wanted to make sure that everything was okay. Yeah. So she kind of was a little, I don't she, know, maybe we, yeah, we, we, a little apprehensive to bring a chef out. Yeah, she. we were not offered to speak to a chef. And it appears she didn't want to go get the chef. Yes. She did. The chef was the awesome. The chef was amazing. The chef was amazing. So no helpful, issues. So yep. brought out the iPad, talked through ingredients. So again, I think it's just a good reminder, even for us, mm -hmm. we come to Disney a lot. We talk to chefs a lot. And it was just a good reminder that if there is a situation where you do need to talk to a chef, definitely be your own advocate. Yep. We don't do it all the time. No. It depends on the location. It depends on things. This is one location where we do feel like we do need to talk to a chef. Yep. And we did. Yeah, and we did, yeah. and he was really helpful, uh, and it worked out great, yeah. but again, just kind of a little hiccup and a reminder that if it's something you feel strongly about, make sure that you are kind and polite, but firm that you do need to talk to a chef. Yep. Favorite part of the meal? Oh my gosh, it's so hard because I love everything about the meal. Um, I would have to say probably my highlight this year, which was new, was the Impossible Meatloaf, which Agreed. I thought was super delicious. Agreed. A little spicy. Uh, great flavor. Again, I think it would be hard to tell that it is plant-based. Yep. Um, I think they do a great job with that. Yep. Apparently, this is a new version of it in the last yep. three weeks, so a winner. But of course, I always love the mashed potatoes, the stuffing, and the roast pork was actually my favorite meat this year, which it kind Agreed. of rotates. Agreed. Um, but I love the roast pork. Uh, the pot roast was actually my least favorite, and usually it's my Same number thing. one. I got, normally I could go on and on and on. Oh, fireworks. Um, Yay. We missed him every When you're at Disney, you never know what's going on. <laughs> Disney and, magic. Anyway, I agree. I want to echo, literally echo what Sarah just said. I have not, 
for maybe the first video ever, maybe put this in your favorites. I have nothing really to say because she said everything I want to say. Yeah. Oh, and I really love the dessert too. The last mm -hmm. couple of years, they've had this gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based mm -hmm. kind of apple cranberry cake, and it's really good. Yeah. And I really like it. So overall, a great yeah. meal, another winner of a tradition, yeah. and we'll be back next year. Absolutely. And then when we walked out, Oh yeah, so we were um, live posting for our patrons and mm -hmm. one of our patrons was actually here, Ellie and her family. And they reached Amazing out and family. said, just hey, incredible family. do you all want to meet up and say hello? So they were coming from Big Thunder Mountain just as we were finishing. So we met up in Liberty Square. It was great to get to see them and say hello. Absolutely. Ellie and her family, yeah, the entire family, they're amazing, all amazing people. Uh, they're here just for a day, they said. They just got off the fantasy. I know, so, living the dream. Living the, living the fantasy dream. Living the no, fantasy. <laughs> it was awesome to see them. And again, they knew we were here because we were live posting videos and photos to Facebook on our Patreon page. Yeah. So join us there if you want. But no, in saying that, is there anything else? I don't think so. Ask any questions you have. Yep. Um, if Liberty Tree Tavern is in your holiday rotation, your Disney mm -hmm. holiday rotation, let us know. And if yep. you've been there, what do you love about it? Absolutely. So thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Thank you to Potato Holder. Uh, thank you recently, too, to a few postcards we got from people on their journeys to our P.O. Box. Yeah. Um, links are all down below and everything. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Yes, and with that, yeah. we are going I'm to tired. Out, take a nap, but <laughs> yep. also stay tuned for more 2024 holiday stuff. We're going to be sharing lots Absolutely. of stuff soon. All right. You ready to get out of here? Yep. So all we'll right. see you soon. Bye. Bye.